I'm John Hart, Associate Professor of Mechanical Engineering here at MIT. I teach and do research in the area of advanced manufacturing, including additive manufacturing. Uh, and I tell my students that I'm constantly amazed at how many ways manufacturing touches our lives. Uh, there's 10 to 15 trillion dollars of manufacturing around the world every year and uh, every day we use innumerable things that are made in factories. And ad over history, advances in manufacturing have been essential to the growth in our quality of life. I think that we're in a, at a time where manufacturing is arguably more interesting and more important than ever. As population is growing, the dynamics of the global economy are changing, and manufacturing is already a very complex, dynamic global ecosystem. We manufacture goods around the world under different economic, social, and political conditions, uh, and we're at a prime time to really think about the, the future of manufacturing. How is advanced technology going to influence uh, how, why, and where goods are manufactured in the future, and how are we going to make manufacturing more efficient, more cost-effective, and more dynamic, uh, a word I like to call adaptive. How does manufacturing become more adaptive in the future? So I often say that my definition of manufacturing is the attainment of value at scale. In other words, to uh, sell a product in the marketplace, it has to deliver value to the customer, and it traditionally has to be made at a reasonably large scale or large volume in order to be economically viable for the manufacturer. Now, I think that new manufacturing technologies have the opportunity to change that and to really redefine the axes by which we judge the effectiveness and economics of a manufacturing process. When a company develops a new product, not only do they make investment in the design and product development process itself, but also in scaling up the process, purchasing the tooling and equipment, and in the logistics of manufacturing. And that uh, goes from the start of manufacturing all the way to the end of the product life cycle, well beyond when the product uh, stops being sold. In many industries, manufacturers have to think about maintaining uh, product service, for example, producing spare parts for vehicles until their end of life. And that's particularly important in certain industries, the aircraft, automobile, heavy equipment. The technologies we're working on at MIT and that are uh, emerging across industry are going to change that. For example, 3D printing, the ability to produce uh, arbitrary quantities of parts uh, on demand, robotics and advanced automation, making factories more efficient and more compact, uh, and advanced uh, data and informatics, being able to judge and improve the efficiency of manufacturing operations and distribute manufacturing in different locations according to consumer demand. If we look at all those together, at some point in the future, we'll be able to reconsider how we design and develop and service products over the full life cycle, from the conception of the idea, prototyping it quickly, to the maintenance of the product toward its end of life. And that can transform how uh, companies uh, deploy, devise, and judge the economics of their manufacturing operations.